Hey y'all, this is your girl Lakeisha Monique of Sobroidery Blanks. Just come back at you with another short video. Uh, hopefully we can get through this real quickly because um, I, I have to run out and do some errands and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show y'all a couple of things that came in. Um, not everything. Um, my orders are so messed up. I did a couple of buy-ins. The first buy-in was going okay and then... Boom, they messed up the order. So now the second buy-in is on its way, but I got a message that they messed up the second order. So some of the stuff that did come in, I sent out and it's just been really, really crazy. So anyway, I have this eyeglass case that I'm going to sublimate. It has a zipper. Um, I put this on there for the hook. Um, so when I put it on the heat press, you know, it's hot and, you know, the hook is plastic. So you don't want to mess that up. So I just put some um, fabric around it. And I also put some fabric on the inside. So it's like a pillow. I mean, I have a pressing pillow, but it's not little. So I don't want to mess that up. But let me get to this real quick. Let me just show you what I did get. I, so I do have some more wine bags that's on the website because I sold out of them the last time. I have these lunch totes. I don't have a lot of them, but you can see it's black trimming and the black back. The bottom is also black. So I have a few of those. And then... I have the black trim just on the top as we go around with the handle, but these are white on both sides and it's black on the bottom as well. These are the ones that they messed up that they sent me that I didn't ask for. They got it wrong, but I'll take them, but you can sublimate on both sides and the bottom is black, the handles are black, so that's fine. So these are the eyeglass cases, which I'm going to sublimate. But that's how it looks. And the zipper goes around. These are also on the website. I have a few of these. They didn't send everything. Hopefully it will come in with the second buy-in. These are the black crossbody shoulder bags. These are the small ones. And then I have the medium ones. This one is actually bigger than the last medium bag I had. So I guess they're doing things differently. So sublimate the front. I've always shown y'all that. Y'all can go back to my videos and watch. And then ooh, I have these large bags. These are the large crossbody bags. I didn't even realize how big this was. But you have a nice space that you can sublimate the front. Alright, so those few are also on the website. And hold on, one more. So I do have a few of these. These are the In Love and Memory with the two doves on the top. And this is pretty big. These are like 14 inches almost. Just about 14 inches. You know, and you make sure that, you know, when you do it, you're peeling off the, the plastic that's on top of the boards. So you don't sublimate that. And then you put your picture down and sublimate it. I love MDF. It's very good. But anyway, so we're going to get to this real quick. Um, this is the top. So I'm going to sublimate that. Uh, where is my lint brush? You want to make sure that you lint roll. Okay, be careful. Lint roll. I'm going to push that fabric back up there. Just to make sure that everything is secure. And they didn't even send me my new tape dispenser. I'm so mad about that. So hopefully that'll be on its way as well. So I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to put it on my design. I'm doing another coach design. This is by Milan Temps. They do their own templates. 
templates. So try to lay this right in the middle. I did it one time, but I didn't make the picture big enough. I don't know what I was thinking. So, but I want to get that sign for the coach and make sure it's on there. Try to keep it in the middle. And these were not the original um, eyeglass cases that I wanted. They're supposed to be white on one side and black on the other. So they messed that up. But it's okay. These are fine for me anyway. So I'm just sticking the tape on it itself. So to stay down. And you make sure you got to be careful. Remember it has a zipper on here. So the zipper is not, not metal. The zipper, I don't think it's metal. I think it's plastic. So you do want to be careful. here I just wanted to stay down on the picture itself okay. I'm gonna push this down for the hook so that's not being sublimated or burnt need some more tape but this keeps coming up and I want it to hold down give me a second so as always you know I want to thank everybody for you know still supporting me and my videos that I'm doing and trying to show y'all what y'all can do with you know different products you know for your customers you can put, you know, all kind of pictures on them to make them really special. So, all right. So now I'm going to put this on my heat press. And as always, my heat press is at 385 for 40 seconds. So bear with me a moment. I'm going to put my butcher paper on. Got to adjust the pressure just a little bit. Because I had adjusted the pressure earlier with just the eyeglass case. But I forgot I put used the fabric to fluff it up so it could try to be even. So I had to adjust the pressure again. So I had to loosen it just a little bit. And I'm just gonna give it a couple of extra seconds um, when it beeps. So we got about 12, 15 seconds maybe. We'll hear the beeps after it stops. So yeah, I just wanna thank everybody for, you know, for the support. I really appreciate y'all watching the videos. You know, even if you have to watch them in the background, that's fine. All right. Hold on. I'm hoping that I got a good press out of this and also hoping that I protected the hook because the hook is where you can put it onto your bag or anything like that. So hoping that was okay. I'm where I hope I got good coverage on here. Ooh, it's hot. All right. I need to flip this over. Right. 
So I need to see the tape so I can actually take it off. Try not to pull the bag, the eyeglass case, up from the paper because I don't want no ghosting because it's still very hot. Also not trying to put too much pressure on it. So like I said, this is just this is just fabric that I just threw in there. You see I caught some of the picture itself, so have to be really careful with ah. Egg. I just pulled it. Uh, it's only on the tape. The hook looks okay. It's not that hot now. Uh, let me pull this tape up. I'm so mad that I pulled this thing, so I hope it didn't ghost. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that didn't come out bad at all. That's on the inside. I'm not worrying about that. I'm looking at the zipper. But like I said, you know, plastic, and you do know plastic will melt. Yeah, I got a little ghosting, and I can see right here just on the edge, but it's so light. And then if you lift the zipper up, but... Nobody's going to be lifting the zipper up. I, well, we'll see. All right, so that's just at the top. But as long as you put something that go that's going to go around. And for all you people that have, what is it? The X tool. Maybe y'all can make something. Y'all can get one of these, cut it out, and make something flat. You know to go inside of these so when people sublimate it they just stick it in there it's nice it's hard it's flat and it'll work all right so now let's see got to make sure we can zip it up right so yeah so when it zips you can see it missed over here the top going around not flat enough and also on the other side but really it's definitely not too bad and it came out just the way i thought it would so yeah but like i oh where's the hook i put the hook inside <laughs> and as you can see the hook it did not melt at all so you can put it under your heat press, but I would definitely suggest wrapping something around it. So, and it has to be heat resistant that you wrap around it. And yeah, and that's fine. And you would stick this on your bag and put your eyeglasses in there. Let's see. There you go. So that's fine. And you won't lose them. So thank you so much for coming by and watching my video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And yeah, like I said, if you can just, you know, if you're working, if you could watch the videos and have it playing in the background, you know, I'm trying to get my time up and my hours up and everything because I don't make constant videos, you know. I've been off here for a minute, but I just started making videos again. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying. So like I showed you, everything is on the website. I will list Milan templates link in my description when I put it up. I have to put it up on a few more videos that I did. But I love their designs. They, they come out really nice. This was a pair of socks that I did <laughs> from them. No show socks. I still got the no show socks on the website too. So y'all can get y'all some. All right. But thank you so much for coming by. This is your girl, Lakeisha Monique. I appreciate each and every one of you once again. Thank you to all my new subscribers, old subscribers, 
all subscribers. All right? And I will talk to y'all soon. Thanks.